Ways to get your year off on the right foot by getting healthy in 2016. ABC's chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is with us to kick off the new year with good tips. What is your top tip? Rich? Well, the top tip is don't bite off more than you can chew. So think of, of small changes that you can make in your life that are livable because those are the things you're more likely to stick with. If you, if you try and change too much, you're going to give it up by the end of next week. And if you have success with a little bite, you might want to bite off a little bit more. Exactly. So exactly. I love your um, the way you're sort of framing it for us. Yeah. You're talking about, you know, it used to be negative to be like, you're acting like a baby. You say we should all act like be little kids again. Exactly. You know, as a pediatrician and a parent, there's so many things I see children do naturally that are good for your health that if you frame it that way, if you embrace your inner child, there are things you can do that will make you healthy. And the, the first one is we always say to kids, go out and play. But you never say that to an adult. But we should go out and play. It doesn't have to feel like exercise. Grab a ball, borrow a kid if you don't have one, go to the park, use your body. It's good for you. And you also talk about uh, at night, you know, it's sort of, it's okay to stay up and a little bit at night? Well, at, you know, we're indulging at night because of New Year's, but when we think about what our children do at night, when we put them down, we have them wind down. You can't go full force and then expect a child to all of a sudden go to sleep. So but when we, you say indulge, you mean sort of let your mind get to a more relaxed place, exactly. don't rush it? Exactly. We need a routine just like our kids need a routine to go to bed. We need to put our screens away for a good half hour so our melatonin can, can start to go up. Those things that, that our children do to get ready for bed, we need to do it the same way. All right, what about eating like a kid? We have to eat like a kid. So I have parents come to me all the time and they say, my child won't eat anything. They're not growing. And I'll measure them. They're growing perfectly. But they're listening to their body. So they're eating when they're hungry. And that is a smart thing for us to do too. In addition, we're all, always saying to our kids, try something new. Just two bites. Well, we should do the same thing. Try something new, so just true. two bites. You know, if you're a white rice eater, try brown rice. And you know, kids, it takes seven to nine times for them to, to like a new food. Give yourself that same thing. You know, don't just try it once and say, I don't like it. Come back to it again and again. Just like they don't like doing that, though. Many of us won't like it either. We won't either. We have to hold ourselves to a kid's standard. Yeah. And I like what you say, too, about how beautiful it is to watch children be in the moment and uh, that we could learn a little something from that. Yeah. You know, a, a couple years ago for my resolution, I decided to take up mindfulness meditation. And it's all about being in the moment. And it's it's good for relationships. It's good for reducing stress. You watch a child when they're, when they're there engaged in something they are totally in the moment think about doing a little mindfulness and you don't have to start saying I'm gonna meditate for 20 minutes but try one minute two minute embrace that child and just be where you are at that time not thinking about where you need to how be. do you be where you are and also be meditating where how do you take in your surroundings but also have a mantra well it's you know it's about being in that quiet place but sometimes it's you know you're in a setting even like this on the set it's taking a breath in and a breath out yeah. and just being where you are sitting across from you in that moment well I'm enjoying being being where I am right now. I really think these are terrific tips. I think there's so much we can do, but again, start small, pick one or two. All right, and act like a kid. Exactly. Best Play. advice ever. Have fun.